Hello, hello, hello. How are you today? Hello, hello, hello. Hooray! Greetings, boys and girls. How are you today? I'm Dazzleberry, and I am thrilled to be with you today. Well, today we are going to clear up a little confusion. It's a little confusion, but a little confusion can help us make big mistakes. Yikes! We don't want to make big mistakes. Mm -mm -mm. So let's clear it up right now. Hmm. Well, the zero can rock, but the O can really roll. Mm -hmm. Well, the zero can rock, but the O can really roll. What do you know? The zero and the O can be confusing at times. Well, we need to clear that up. You see, the zero is a number and the O is a letter. Now, this silly little O, it all wrapped up around an octopus. That's because the O says ah. The O says ah. The O says ah. The O says ah. Like an O, octopus, ah. And the zero, the zero, you could say it's kind of a hero, because guess what? This zero helps us make other numbers. Yes, it does. It helps us. And you know what else it does? It shows us when there are none. There's nothing there. Just put a zero there. Mm -hmm. But now how does it help us make other numbers? Well, it just jumps right in when we're writing numbers. And let me show you what I mean. The zero can help us to write the number 10. Oh, you see that zero? It just jumped right in to make the number 10. Well, now isn't that something else? And the zero can help us make a whole lot of other numbers, including 100, 100. That's a big number, but there's that zero, two zeros. All right, guys, so far, I think we're cooking. But now, let us take another look at that zero and the letter O, because they look so much alike, but there's a difference. You see, the zero right here is long like an oval. You know that shape, the oval? And the O is round like a circle. The O round like a circle. And the zero long like an oval. Yes, it is. Now remember, the zero, ooh, see what I mean? It can be so confusing. Well, here's a tip. Everybody, let's write the letter O in the air, and that will help you remember. Okay, put your arms straight out. Are you ready? And this has to be big and round like a circle. Ready? Do that one more time. That was fun. Ready? Zoop. Big fat 
letter O. Oh, hmm. wow. My mouth opens like a O, oh, like an O. Oh. <laughs> silly, silly me. Okay, now let's write the zero in the air. We're going to make it long, okay? So we just put our finger out and let's go. Up a little, down and around. See, our arm doesn't go so far out with the zero. Okay, well, O and zero. O, zero. Wow, O and zero. time for the mail. Let me see if we have a letter. Oh, what do we do? Greetings, boys and girls. Today is a great day for having fun learning. Hmm. Be sure to pay close attention. Dazzleberry has some interesting information for you today. Love, Dumpling. Well, thank you, Dumpling, for this letter. Our nice little letters from Dumpling. I tell you, well, what I'm talking about today, we already know. O and zero. So, Dumpling, if you're listening, we got this. The O and the zero. Everybody clap it up if you have it down now. Ooh, clap it in a O. Now clap it in a zero. All right, all right. And now it's time to play What's in the Bag. Are you ready to play What's in the Bag, Leslie? Oh. Wow, clue number one. There's more than one. Sounds like a lot. Clue number two. I'm a type of cube. And clue number three. You can snap me together with another cube. Hmm, cubes that can snap together? Hmm. Well, that was two clues. To they're cubes and they can snap together. And there's more than one. Do you think you know? Do you? Well, one, two, three. Guess it with me. Okay, ooh. They are cubes. They are snap cubes. Well, let's see, how many are there? For goodness sake. There's a bunch. I, you know what? I better keep control of these. I'm just going to snap them together as I pull them. You know, there's more in the bag. So as I pull them out of the bag, I'm going to snap them together. I am indeed. Guys, have you used snap cubes before? What about in school? Yeah, you can use these to help you add and solve math problems. You sure can. All right, let's see. I put them together. I wonder how many do I have here? What do you think, guys? Well, the only way to find out is to count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five blue and five yellow, and I have ten all together. Wow! Five and five make ten. <laughs> what do you know? Okay, guys. Well, all right. Oh, there's something else in the bag. A card. Let's see, what does it say? Oh, it says, 
five and five make, I bet it's a, yep, five and five make 10. All right, well, here we go, moving right along. I have my handy dandy Pringles can. Now, what could be in the Pringles can? Well, let's see. Hmm. Ooh, and there's a, as always, it's stuck. Let me just put these down on my word building board. And I got that other letter out. Okay. So what have we here? Ooh. Well, I have a picture. I have a picture of a box. I'm going to put that right there. So we must be building the word box today. So, oh, here's that letter. Oh, ah, a B because box, book, box, X. Okay. Box, B O X, box. Wow. All right. I will put my socks in the box. <clears throat> rhymes and rhymes. All right. And now it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, my friends. It's time to say goodbye. Until we meet again, it's time to say goodbye. Adios, amigos. Adios, my friends. Adios, amigos. Until we meet again. Bye-bye. Love you. Remember, like and subscribe.